Hello everyone, my name is Pleasant Moon and welcome back to New Life Episode 3. Did I get carried away between episodes? Maybe just a little bit. But I'll also explain why we have a sudden Coppagola family as well in just a moment. In that time period of getting carried away between recording, I decided that I wanted to go mining. And what a better way to get to the depths than add an entrance down to your mines from inside your base by using a tiny little door. Look at these things! These are so cute! All you gotta do is take one normal sized door, stick it in a crafting table, and suddenly you've got a little mini one that's perfect for my little tiny sized body to get through. I've got my entrance here into my mines, and another little door that goes back up to my little maintenance section that controls how I get down there in the first place. I could have made some stairs down to the mines, but with the help of the community during a stream over on Twitch, we've instead made ourselves an elevator using the create mod. Got a little barrel over here in my maintenance store that keeps everything I need to get down to my little mining area. All you gotta do is you hop on this little seat right here, play your wonderful, wonderful elevator music. Yes, this is the best elevator music we could possibly have and totally wasn't the only disc I had from Sausage. This is very loud. Okay, turn the volume down a little bit. But anyway, we've got the music disc in there going well with our elevator music. You grab out this little link controller here, click it to bring it up, press space, and down we go! This is absolutely amazing. It's like a fun little pulley system that attaches to a block and you can use super glue to stick all of this together. And there you go, you've got yourself an elevator. Link up the redstone contraption to this linked controller here and you can control it from anywhere you are. Also, we have a spawner right there that I'm excited to explore at some point but this will take me all the way down to bedrock or until I press the space bar to bring our souls back up again. It's nice. Now this is the most terrifying bit of using this elevator when it stops because yeah, the blocks kind of glitch out, but luckily it's only a visual glitch and I have to kind of click around a little bit and I, I can load it back in. <laughs> it's all good. You know, it, it's okay. We don't, we don't fall down to our depths. When I first made this thing, that visual glitch absolutely terrified me. And you know what? To my luck, I didn't have to test to make sure it worked for the first time without killing me because Sausage happened to come by for a visit. I managed to roof him into, uh, you know, trying it out first before me. Let's play a little bit of a clip. Here, I brought you food. You f oh, food! Oh, th thank you. You know, I feel like it's it's slightly um, unfortunate that I'm a copper golem and surely, yeah. even though this is my food, where does copper come from, Sausage? From your family. You, you caught you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you're what eating you? your relatives. What is that? Oh, that's messed up. Uh, that's really messed up. Whoever made this uh, copper golem person, there, I don't there's something even wrong. Know. It's kind of sad, you know? I just gotta not it's, think it's about it. disturbing. I just don't think about it, you know? It's okay. This is very, oh my gosh, why do I look 10 times smaller sitting in a chair next to you? <laughs> it's bad enough standing up. Oh, hold on. What if I get in here? Oh do... no, I don't want sausage. Ah! Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh dear. I want I want fire. No, no, no water. water. Don't no, no water. No. Sorry. No water. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, You're I was just gonna flame it up, you know? Get a little toasty in there. What? I don't need your fart <laughs> gas on my stove. You should see my elevator. Yeah. Do you wanna see my elevator? Yeah, let me see. I'm not gonna I don't yeah. have fall damage, so if I fall down, I won't. You gotta die. come through Fine. here. Um, there's a problem. There's no problem, you can fit. I feel, like, I feel like this is a, you know, this, is, this is a new problem here. You know, this is a you problem, like skill issue. You know, get in here. Get in here. Where, where is it? Sausage. Where is your wood? I've done where it. Your wood? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, another one. You need another. I can't get out you now. Yes. You're, <laughs> you're my prisoner. A prison. Yes. I am Hello a prisoner there. in here. Oh no. Yeah. Do you want to? You want to sit on that seat, sausage? Bro, if I die. <laughs> I'm gonna be very sad. Well, yeah, very sad what look, I'll warn you. All right, I'll okay. warn you. It is dark get... down there. I've just run the drills. That's it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let me put my shield on. You're kind of my. Yeah, you're yeah, you're being it, my lab it. right now. Right now. You know that, right? Okay, I got this. Oh, go ahead. I bet you're the best <laughs> create artist there is. Okay, you'll be fine. You know, the, the server's not lagging at all. You're not gonna glitch. Oh God! If I die from that, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so sad, so sad, so sad. It's okay. I went to the Nether once. I got good supplies. I'm good. I can, I can die now. I'm fine. Okay. okay. You know, it's it's fine. I don't want to, though. All right. <laughs> See you later, sausage. You're gonna go to bedrock. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, it's gonna take like 30 minutes. Oh God! I waited for you like so Hold on, hold on, no, hold on. I gotta, I gotta Put do something first. On. Oh God! Please don't destroy my. Let me life. see if it glitches. Put it. Curious. Okay. You have hop elevator music. Yeah, yeah. So hop off for a second. I'm just curious. 
Oh my god, I can see yeah. through the wall. What, a, oh what happens when god. you get up? Do you glitch? Ah, ah, I can't get out. You are glitching? Out. You I got this? Out. Yes. You got this? Help me. I believe. Help me. Help me. Hey, there Help. you go. You're good. Okay, here's, oh here, here's some uh, added music for you, Sausage. You Thank ready? You. Thank you. Hopefully it's nice. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later, Sausage. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. Any of them that one. Sausage. Not that one! Why, no, Saucy? No! Not again! <laughs> not again! Put some torches on the way down. You don't have to break I blocks, will. it's okay. No, you can just put them straight no, on the wall. No. It's okay, it'll go not through the, the torches. Demon disc. Not it's all good. Demon again. Don't need any holes, Sausage. You can just place them. <laughs> oh, he's here at the bottom. He's done it. Alright, shall we bring him back up? We can bring him back up. Sausage! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I got rich off of it, so I'm good. Wait, rich? What'd you get? I got two diamonds. Two diamonds? Where'd you get diamonds from? <laughs> I knocked it out of the wall. They're this in the wall? the wall, dude. I'm poor. You yeah, know what? No, that's one. okay. You can you can have those diamonds for that. Like, oh, thank you. You saved I me. I was so scared. scared. Yeah. Okay, those blocks are gonna yeah. disappear again. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> You're okay. Oh, help! Help! Yeah, it's a little, it was a little spooky. I'm not gonna lie, I've, I, I've heard that song before and it's not the best it, out of all of them. You know <laughs> whose fault it is that that's my elevator music? Yeah, who, um, you. yeah, that's me, I'm sorry. Oh, here, now, I brought you actually something else. Let's see oh, if I remember how to really? do this. Yeah, stay right there, don't move. Okay, I'm not moving. <gasps> okay, open the door, I have a relative for you. Relative! This is Rusty's, Rusty's second cousin on his grandmama's side. <laughs> Rusty's second cousin? One. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. you can name. You can name him. That's your. That's your. Like, your worker. You can work with him. My friend. I need. Oh, there's a button for me. Is he gonna go to the button? Yep. Yep. They automatically always go for buttons. Go ahead. So if go I ahead. if I just kind of like like <laughs> push him, it's okay. You can go for a little buddy. Uh, wait. Oh, we need, need the copper buttons. Button. Well, they like that more. That's like their favorite thing. Okay. Okay. I have extra. We have a bunch. That's that's their that with the axe. There we go. Oh, straight there. to it. He loves it. Told you. <laughs> there he goes. I wish I did there my little is. arms like that when I was pushing buttons. That's so cute. Thank you. I am so happy. You're welcome. I have a friend now. This is great. Oh my gosh, I have lots of friends. Here, you need more. Oh. Oh my Take word. I love it. It is now a copper gun workshop now. I, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there it is. Enjoy, oh. enjoy. Ha have a great time with them. Thank you, Sausage. And thank you for testing out they my do. elevator so I didn't have to. Oh, don't worry. And thank you for the, the two diamonds. But be careful. They do multiply sometimes when you have too many together. So be careful, okay? Say You're what now? Get overrun in here. <laughs> be careful. That's all. Nothing. Don't what? worry about Wait, what? <laughs> sausage. Whee! Did he just say the copper golems multiply when there's too many? So not only do we have a solid working elevator to a mining spot well and tested by a wonderful local sausage, but we now also have our own copper golem family. <laughs> Look at these little guys. When they press a button, they wave their hands up in the air and they are absolutely adorable. Look at that. And the copper golems also oxidize and you know what happens? Look at this. Hold on. I'm going to de deoxidize that. It drops me two pieces of redstone when I deoxidize things. That's an absolute bonus. i do this one too. Look at that! And so, well, I guess this is the moment that I say that dreaded line that, well, I know you all absolutely love. I have been doing a little bit of mining <laughs> off camera. Yet it was technically on camera as it was streamed, but I now have just a little bit over four stacks of diamonds to my name with the help of a wonderful Fortune 3 pickaxe. My luck enchanting it wasn't the greatest, but we got there eventually. I definitely can't say I expected this by episode 3, purely for the fact that I had no idea what kind of cool ability the copper golem actually has. On the first episode, I mentioned I had the local area networking ability, and I kind of breezed past this because I didn't really know exactly what it did. If we read this right here, it says that when standing within five blocks of unwaxed copper, emerald, and diamond ore and blocks, you will be. However, we oxidize faster while it's active. And because I don't live in a mountain biome that spawns a whole bunch of emeralds, and I haven't quite tested the theory of the unwaxed copper yet, that pretty much just leaves diamonds to be the thing that I'm going to be detecting when I'm down in my strip mines. This ability may just be, yeah, kind of a tad bit OP once you actually figure out how to use it. Let's have a little bit of a pop down to the mines and actually show you how good this thing is, because my golly goo. So let's just say I want to make a strip mine off in this direction, but I decide to use the local area networking, which I can little tap 
type N and it brings up this nice little kind of vignette, yellow vignette on the sides of my screen. I'm just going to do a little bit of one by one because I'm a small copper golem and don't need to make a one by two. And eventually this will ping and go off for diamonds being nearby. Oh, and there it goes. Just a little bit of a ping. And I figured out because it's in a five by five radius of the ore, all you do is figure out where the ping stops. Such a case, it stops pinging right here on this block here. So I can safely assume that it is five blocks from this location. So one, two, three, four, five, and one middle block. Now I'm gonna mine in another direction to figure out the exact, well, center block. But in which case I, I don't have to because, well, we've already found it. <laughs> and my gosh, this one is a massive diamond hole. It keeps going, what on earth? Hold on a second, come on, is this the last one? This has to be the last block. I just got 17 diamonds from that one patch. Is, is there any more here? Hold on. There is still more. Okay, have I, have I missed some or is this another bunch of diamonds that I am detecting right now? <laughs> see, this is what I mean. It's absolutely bonkers. All right, let's see if we can find this other patch of diamonds, shall we? You see, it stops detecting around here. So let's see when it starts again. It starts on this block right here. So let's block that up. Count five blocks this way. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to pretend this is the middle block right here. Hello, redstone. I'm going to pick that up right now because I kind of want to take that even though I can produce it myself. Now I'm going to go off in this direction. One, two, three, four, Five. It's still pinging. I would say this looks to be a double patch of diamonds right here because it's still going. I'm going to try in the opposite direction. Two, three, four, five. And it stopped pinging. All right, let's see. Starts pinging here. Okay. So we already know that's the limit on that side and that's the limit here. So we're going to count five here. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to assume this one is probably the middle block and it's going to stop five blocks in that other direction. So we're going to dig either up or down. And hopefully, should be able to find ourselves some diamonds? Maybe. I was pretty good at this earlier. Oh, and there we are. Perfect. So I was just one little block off, but not bad at all. So that's how it works. It's maybe a little bit annoying with the ding constantly, but it's pretty reliable and kind of insane. So just out of me showing you how this works, we've gotten 28 diamonds and that took us probably less than a couple of minutes to do. So yeah, maybe I might hold off on mining diamonds for a little bit because maybe, maybe I have a bit too much for a little starter copper golem like me and this should last us for a while yet. Scrape all that back off from all the uh, wonderful hard work of collecting diamonds that we just did. And you know what, because we have so many diamonds, I think it's probably time for us to make that diamond gear. Goodbye, iron gear and hello, diamond armor that you can totally not see unless I'm in my inventory menu. <laughs> we have an armor mod on here that can toggle off visibility on armor. I kind of like seeing my skin, so that's why we've been looking armorless for quite a while. Gotta say my journey is coming along absolutely amazing so far. Speaking of the absolutely insane unexpected rapid journey we're taking right now, I've been going through an absolutely insane amount of iron axes trying to deoxidize myself constantly. But one of my abilities as a copper golem is galvanize and we can use honeycomb to wax myself, staving off the effects of oxidation for several minutes. The only problem with that is that I don't have bees for constant needed honeycomb. And as much as I can ask for it from another member on the server, why not make our own? It's time for us to get ourselves some bees. First things first, we need to make ourselves an axe with our beautiful newly acquired diamonds. Doop and doop. Right there, beautiful. Look at that wonderful axe. And the next thing we need is actually silk touch on this axe for easy beehive collection. Wonderfully enough, when I went to enchant my pickaxes, I got a whole bunch of books from one of my surrounding villages and made my own enchanting table. So let's see if we'll get lucky on this one. Please, maybe? That's efficiency three. It already looks bad enough it is. So let's just kind of reset that one. Okay, attempt number two. Unbreaking three and... Fortune 2, one of the last things I actually want on an axe, so that's unlucky. There goes all of our levels to actually enchant. Seeing as we're in great need of XP and Flip offered his XP grinder services last episode, let's go pop over to his and see if we can use that. And wonderfully enough, he's also got an enchantment table right next to it, so this is going to be absolutely perfect for us. Let's flick that on and grind out some levels. Okay, attempt number three, here we go. Oh, efficiency four is a good look and only efficiency four. Attempt number four, here we go. 
And just unbreaking. Attempt number five, please. Oh, efficiency three, that's already bad. Nope. Number six. Nope. Number seven. <laughs> Fortune three. This, look, this is a great axe, but not what I want. Many more attempts later. Come on, I'm oxidizing over here. Duke. No, ah, uh, Fortune two. This one's gonna be it. Oh, <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> oh, oh, it's only silk touch. Oh no, we got so many unbreaking and efficiency ones and we only get Silk Touch. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. It's okay. I'm alrighty. That's it. I went through an entire sword. I've been oxidizing. I come out of there with one singular Silk Touch. Alrighty. But that's good. Technically, that was a success. Let's, let's turn this thing off now and get out of here. As soon as I kill these guys real quick, because I'm not going to leave them here. Back home time. Boop. Aha, redstone poop every time I use this thing. It's great. All right, we're back home. Doing fantastic. Got my axe. Let's put away all this junk I have newly acquired from the XP farm. And then we're pretty much going to be ready to go on a bit of an adventure. All right, got a few extra axes on hand because this axe is not for deoxidizing ourselves. We're going to grab Tiny and let's go find ourselves some bees. Come on, little buddy. Now, of course, in vanilla, in order to get honeycomb or honey from a beehive, you typically need to put a campfire under it so you can smoke the bees and kind of put them to sleep so they don't get angry at you. It's also a thought that when you break a hive and go to pick it up, the bees are also going to be angry at you. But as long as you have silk touch, you're good to go. They're going to stay in the hive. You put them in your inventory and you pick them up like a suitcase. And that is the exact reason why I decided to get a wonderful silk touch on the axe today. Also, can we just talk about that giant giant ship in the sky for a second. I've seen that for a little while now and I've kind of been lightly ignoring it because I know it's a really bad place for you to go. It's very dangerous. It's got spawners all over the place. But my golly, would you just look at that thing? Anyway, we're not here for that though. We're here for the bees. Give me the buzzy boy bees. Bark if you find them, tiny. <gasps> Another dog. Oh, you have a different texture to my tiny boy, but I don't have any bones to tame you for a friend. Well, I'm definitely going to mark a location. I might have to come back and get you because my god, look at that. Oh, how cute. We need this in vanilla. Oh, I see a bee, but do we have a beehive? Show us your home, buddy. I would like to take you back with me. Oh, hello. Hi. I cannot find your home and it appears neither can you. So we're going to have to leave you be. <laughs> leave you be. Get it? I oh, know. Sorry, that was cringy. Moving on. Ah, the birch forest. Oh, another bee. Hello. But you also have a dusty butt, which means you probably can't find your home either. Did someone just rob all of your houses or are you guys just kind of lost right now? But as I was saying, a birch forest is a perfect place for a bunch of bee nests. Now that is a seriously cool looking chicken. Dude, are you sure you're not a crow? <laughs> Look at it, it's entirely blue. Oh, the textures never cease to amaze me in this mod. Look at all these chickens. And I see a bee without a dusty butt, which means there has to be a nest nearby, I'm hoping. <gasps> I found one, there it is. Completely full of honey. I would love if that guy would get in the nest. Oh, that one might. That means we get to pick it up. I know you want to get it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, I'm going to grab you. All right, I'm going to take it. <gasps> Oh, beautiful. I am surprised I picked that up. <laughs> How many bees does it have? I have no idea, actually. It might just have the one bee in it. Let's see if we can get these guys in the nest as well. Follow me, bee. I have the flowers of wonder. Hey, there we go. Okay, you know, even if it's only two bees, I'll take it. I don't know if this last one is going to get pollen enough. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, there he goes. He's got the pollen. All right. As long as the other ones don't fall, don't come out of the the, uh, the hive. Wait, where is he going? <laughs> He's running off. Dude, I've got your hive right here, buddy. Come on. Yes, I know you see it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We officially have. Yeah, there we go. There's the achievement to tell us too. Three bees and a beehive. Nice. I've got to find more though. That's not it. I'm going to get more bees. Can we also just talk about how absolutely gorgeous and adorable this is? It's a leaf insect. <laughs> But as far as I know, you can't actually pick them up or do anything with them. But my gosh, I love it. Okay, so Tiny and I have kind of been exploring for a little bit now and we haven't actually found any more bees or beehives. And I was thinking, you know, we got three bees. Why don't we just breed them? We can breed them and slowly make our little, little bee army enough to make a wonderful honeycomb farm. So let's waste no more time out here and get ourselves back to the base. Where we're nice and safe, right, Tiny? <laughs> yeah, somewhere nice and safe would be good. Oh no! 
Oh no. I was so confidently running around and I was trying to find my way back to the base. This isn't the way that I wanted to die. I didn't want to die at all, but it's only episode three. I was so happy with being a copper golem. I did all this work for the... Well, I mean, I didn't do too much work for the peas at least, but I... no. Well then. I, I don't know what I don't know what else to say actually from that. I'm I'm, I'm baffled. I guess it's time to respawn and s see what we are next. Oh no! Gotta say this was not the way I expected today's episode to go, and I am very very sad about what happened because I was actually in love with being a golem. It was absolutely the most adorable thing out there, and I'm gonna miss it so very much. But I just had to go and ruin it because I was skipping happily back home and didn't see a giant hole beneath my feet. I guess it's time to see what we are now, huh? Now that we've died, we've got a new origin, and well, we're already sparkling in bright yellow particles obviously something has is going on and hang on a minute am i am i still small wait <gasps> am i smaller than i was a am i smaller than i was hold on a second i'm i'm still tiny wait wait a minute i was one block tall if not like my head would poke into the block above me in my last origin and this one i think i'm a little bit shorter and i'm sparkly oh my word what on earth am i all right let's 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 have a little look then i guess i am this i am a star and i'm absolutely glowing oh well, thank you game i appreciate that you know i'm feeling all giddy about this one already even though i'm sad oh the star well that's very fitting seeing as i'm pleasant moon right anyway all right let's what have we got luminant glide you are able to launch up into the air and you will slowly glide until you reach the ground that's actually very nice all right luminant you light up the area around you <gasps> oh i have to see this at night time starlight you're smaller during the day well there we go but larger at night how, how big are we talking oh now now i'm excited for night time i light up the area and i'm bigger okay gravitation the gravity of the earth is less taxing upon you at night well this will definitely help the fact that i died to fall damage two seconds ago and immaterial you have two less hearts okay so we gotta remember last time i had resistance as a copper golem and i got blown up by a creeper but i didn't die and i was able to withstand that as a copper golem but i have to remember that maybe i won't be so lucky with that in this origin i have no protection no resistance but full damage i'm pretty immune to right now but you know what i have to go back and find my stuff because a i have all that stuff that i've just gone and dropped on the ground and b tiny is there i've lit i died and tiny's still at my body all right come on let's go get him let's go get him before he gets lost in fact actually i don't know where i stopped where is my dead body oh no <gasps> wait a second can i go in water now it didn't say anything about not being able to touch water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip my toes in. I'm gonna dip my toes in. Oh, okay. I can touch water now. Oh, I can swim. I'm free. Oh my gosh, how nice is that? Oh, I'm still very sad, but that, oh, that is so nice. How much like fall damage can we negate here? Should we like this? Actually, I'm certainly not gonna test it out here. Never mind. Okay, just a little hop. Just a little hop. Okay, we still take damage. Okay, noted. Can't completely negate full damage. Oh, and actually, something I've also realized is now I take hunger. I, I, my, my saturation bar goes down. Oh, this is something I haven't had to deal with yet. I don't have any food. I don't even have any food on my body. Oh dear, this is a new problem. Village, do you have any food? Ha, ah, here we go. Wheat, perfect. Oh, it's nighttime now. Hold on. Is it nighttime? I'm still, oh, I see a bit of light. <gasps> Look at that. There is like a really slight glow around me. Oh, oh, there I go. Oh, wow. Wait, ha is that, am I three blocks tall? Oh my word, look at me go. I am massive. I can see so, there's a beehive right here. My base is literally right over there. I could have, I, I wouldn't have died if I just knew that one was there. Oh, I am huge. Oh, now I'm small again. <laughs> a lot of people will sleep through night, so I don't know how many chances we'll have to see how to see the big version of me. I'm almost there, Tiny. I've looked back at my old footage and I've found where I died. I'm almost there. I'm a little bigger than what I was, but I promise I'm still me. Oh, is that the hole there? Oh, I think that's it. Wait, but where's Tiny? Tiny should have teleported to me 
by at this point, right? Okay, thankfully sausage is sleeping through the night. I may be bigger and don't take full damage from that size, but my gosh, there's so many mobs around here and I have nothing on me, so no thanks. But where's where's Tiny gone? Okay, there's my body. See, the good thing in this server with this pack of mods is that we have a gravestone that keeps all of our items for us so it doesn't despawn. <gasps> there's Tiny! Hello! I I finally touched the ground. I wasn't standing on leaves anymore. Hi, Tiny. Oh, how I've missed you. Look, I'm still small. It's okay. Wait, what? how big am I now compared to you? Yeah, around about the same. I think I was a little bigger before, that's for sure. But I'm still me, just a little sparklier now. I feel like I'm going back to the starter game ages now at this point, making a wooden sword. <laughs> My golly. Tiny, stay here where it's safe. One little staircase block at a time. I don't like the fact that I can use skeletons right now. All right, here we go. Blocking up this cave here. No, thank you. No surprises. Don't want it. And this one, block up that so you can't see me. All right, I'm fine. I'm gonna get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, there's all my stuff back. <gasps> oh, <laughs> why is this? I, I actually hate it. I have everything that I had as a copper golem. I'm even pretty much the same size. But like, I'm not a copper golem anymore. Oh, let's go home. This whole journey was for nothing because I don't even need the bees now. I don't even need to wax myself. There's no waxing as a star. There's no deoxidizing as a star. It's all not for nothing. I don't even really need a bee farm because anyone else that would need honeycomb has a bee farm. So now I just have three bees in a beehive and one death to my name. Well, back home to safety, I guess. And then we'll figure out what we're doing next. Hello home, bittersweet home. We're back again. Totally not a completely different person or anything. Nope. At least Tiny's back. We still got Tiny. Tiny, you come sit down back at the front door again. Boop. Thank you, Tiny. Oh, oh, no. sorry. I'm, I've, I've been exposed, Tiny. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really small, you know. I'm kind of a little bit large. I'm sorry. I haven't been lying to you this whole time, I promise. It's 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 a new newly quiet edition. <laughs> I'm so big. Oh, at least these three tall doors work now. Fortunately, that one. Well, um, not so much. When I'm small, I'm small though. During the day, it still works. <laughs> oh, everything looks so. I don't know. Normal now, you know. You guys are still my brethren. I still love you. Oh, well, seeing as we're back home now, and sadly, no longer need the honeycomb farm. How about we make something that's a little bit more in theme to our new form? But first, let's get dressed for the occasion. It has been a long time since I've brought out this set of clothing, but I'm feeling like my little moon and stars pajamas are the absolute perfect fit. It's snuggly, just right for nighttime, and shows off that gorgeous night sky. Beautiful. Now, as for a new build, I've been doing a little bit of thinking, and I think something fun that we could make is a brand new structure for our enchantment table setup, because, well, it's obvious, it looks pretty ugly up here. The table and its library could actually fit quite nicely in a bit of a wizard tower theme, but we can keep that tower within the same palette parameters as what we've already got here. I want to make something that fits our new origins whenever we die, but I still want to keep this area feeling fairly cohesive in nature. Alas, I'm eager to get building and get something done, so I'm going to chuck you all into a time lapse for today. Sit tight, be snug, and I'll see you all in just a moment. Roll it!
the basic structure of the tower is now built. So let's get ourselves outside and I'll show you what I've made. This brand new tower is an absolute massive addition to the front of our base. No longer are we just a small entryway, but now we have some height to it. And you know what? Some extra movement. You know I had to chuck a windmill in there. And it's a sideways windmill, but it still works. It's functional, it adds movement to our base, and it looks cool to boot. Like, kind of look at that. It's not how you would expect a usual windmill to work, and that's what makes it even cooler. But either way, yes, like I said before too, this is the bare bones structure of the build. There is still a little bit of detailing that I would like to do to really bring it together and refine that shape without being a little too messy. But I wanted to get at least the start down in the initial resources that I have, and then and later on, once I get some new cooler palette options, I'll be able to add to it and really refine our own style on our base. There is a bunch of resources that are in the nether and the end that I would absolutely love to use and we're definitely going to go and try and get those in the next episode. But walking up to the tower here you can see that I've made the land just a little bit more fluffy, it was looking a bit more barren and plain so I just wanted to bone meal the area a little bit and I've added this kind of rock face wall that leads up to the front door of this windmill wizard tower thingy-majig that I've made. I also brought back these path blocks once again because I love that we can use slabs here and it's a nice subtle kind of texture complement to the palette that we've already got going on so it works out lovely. Moving on to the tower itself I've added a three tall doorway because obviously with my new origin when it becomes nighttime I gain a hitbox that is three tall and can only go through these kinds of spaces. However, if I have a door on the side of this, I actually can't fit through. I'm a little bit too wide, so it's got no door on it for right now until I figure out what I want to do. Initially, I actually wanted to put the enchantment table at the very top of the tower, but then I realized that would be extremely inconvenient having to go up and down all the time until I can figure out a better way of getting up there. So it's down on the first level for now, and of course, interior is, you know, pretty much not non-existent in here. I've just chucked it in here for functionality and kind of played around a little bit with the a rope here which looks really cool so I'd love to add more of this stuff into my build. So next episode another goal interior detailing. Moving on up the tower here you can see I've just added a basic ladder system for now and moving up I've also added a whole bunch of like platforms that we can decorate later on maybe add some farms in here there is quite a few different possibilities that we can do and of course you also notice these lovely cogs that we have in this room right here they are attached to the windmill but the windmill isn't currently powering any farms but what we can do down the line is we can just add a whole bunch of shafts or different things that can pull that power all the way down into the base and then we can connect it up with any create farms we want to make in the future. So the windmill will be functional but for now it is just aesthetic. Moving up this ladder is the dangerous part because you got to get up there in between the windmill slats because it does push you. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself squished. So that is the only downside about having a kind of cool looking windmill from the outside is that getting up you're kind of playing a little bit of a jump rope game with your own windmill. Continuing on up to this level this is the top level that I originally wanted the table on but for now it's just gonna be a really cool overlook into the lands below. It's kind of scary just make sure I don't let go of shift my pinky is firmly pressed. So yes that is the tower very basic at the moment but I'm definitely looking forward to adding more to it in the future when we acquire more blocks that we can add into our palette to really make things contrast and pop. I do what I can with the materials that I got. However, unfortunately, with the seemingly minimal amount of stuff that I feel like we've gotten done today, that is actually going to be the end of the episode. That death set me back quite a bit in some plans that I had, so let's hope we can bring it back next episode nice and strong and get some really good gear for us to survive just a little bit easier and a little bit longer. I hope you all enjoyed the episode today. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. And thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>